Hello once again, this is Dave, and I'm a customer service agent supporting the Dolphin Quest My Photos website. This is the third and final video, video in a series of tutorials to help you learn the Dolphin Quest My Photos website. And in this video, we're going to cover the My Account pages and how to edit information within My Account, uh, along with the customer service resources, including Can't Find Photos, Missing Guest ID, Contact Us, and the Help pages. Um, I'm also going to show you how to um, download all of your photos in batches. Uh, in the first video, you can recall that we submitted a request to um, download all the photos. Um, now we can go ahead and download those in a batch. So I'm coming back into my account. I've already entered my email address. And I'm going to enter my password and hit go. My photos page opens and we're going to come over to my account right here in the upper right corner my account this is profile information this is where uh, information that was entered earlier is stored um, for example your email address your shipping ad address phone numbers things like that any order history if you had ordered photos in the past um, and uh, things like that. So we, we get uh, guests at times write to us and say that I mistyped my email address. Can I change it? And you can. You can you can edit that basic information right here. If I hover over edit profile, click on that. If I had mistyped my email address, I can make the changes right here and hit save. Uh, or if I had forgotten my password and our system sent you a new password that was not easy to remember because they typically are complicated letters and numbers, you could come back in here and enter in a new password that you are very comfortable with saving uh, or remembering. So that's pretty much it. Email and password information. I'm going to hit cancel just so I don't upset what I currently have. Um, I can also... Uh, uh, edit address information, phone information by hovering over the edit address and it's the same thing. I can edit um, if, I, if I mistyped or if it was if it was entered incorrectly the first time around I can I can change it here. Probably the uh, most important um, thing about the my account is this is where we send you when your download all photos um, is ready um, and I'll show you another place that'll get you here quickly as well but um, in the email we send you when your download my your download photos um, order is ready uh, we send you we direct you to my account my downloaded photos click on that notice now I could download each of these photos individually or I could download all I'm going to click on download all And if you can see it down below here is a window from uh, uh, Windows that's saying, uh, do you want to download the Dolphin Quest <coughs> zip file for my venue photos? <coughs> and I'm going to sure say save. Now, these photos came in as a zip file. And the photos then will have to be unzipped. Now, it's, it's really easy to do that. There's a bunch of free unzip being folders that are available out there or if you're using I've, I'm using Windows 7 here right now um, you can click on that zip file and in Windows there's a tool called extract all so I'm gonna open this zip file and right here it says extract all files I can extract all those files and it, Windows has asked me where do I want to put them and Windows will unzip the photos for me. Hit extract and off they go. Now they're on your computer and they are um, uh, ready to be used. Notice that we send you two images. We send you one the raw image that was captured on the camera and then we also send you another image called with border. If you were to alter your photo in the 
photo options page that I talked about in video number two by adding a border, adding stickers, changing the, the, the zoom in, zoom out, etc. That will show up here. But we're always going to send you the original input image as well. That way, if you did want to do further editing, you could with the image that was captured right at the camera. Um, we're also sending you a download sales agreement as well. This is in addition to um, what is also available on the website. So uh, this explains why you've got two images, one with a border and one without. The system sends you with a border even if you didn't apply it. So don't be surprised if you get two images of, of each. Okay, I'm going to come back to uh, the My Photos page. If you ran into any kind of a problem, for example, photos might be missing, maybe you lost your photo claim ID card, your download card, um, um, a whole, there's a whole host of um, issues that, that we run into. Thankfully, not frequently, but on occasion. Uh, it could be that one or two photos was missing. So the best way to reach us is there's a hot link down here called Can't Find Photos and Missing Guest ID. You can click on that, and then we ask you to fill out a form. And I won't go through this, but um, fill out the form and just identify the, the type of problem. I lost my guest ID. This pre-populates lost. We ask you to choose which Dolphin Quest location you attended. That helps us search. We also ask you to choose the date in which the photos were taken. Let's just say it was January 4th, 2016. Uh, we give you the opportunity to enter the time. This, this really helps us narrow our search for looking for your photos. Um, whether you were in Encounter Deluxe or We Tots, what have you. Any any information that you can provide to us really helps us search search for the pictures. And um, Any additional information that will help us identify the photos um, and reply back to you as quickly as possible is really, really helpful. Once you've um, completed that form, you can hit send. Off that comes to our customer service team. And I didn't put in the email address. Or the photo date <clears throat> was taken. We we really want um, you know you to provide um, if, as much information as possible so that we can um, we can satisfy this request. <clears throat> that comes to our team, and usually we turn that around in. Um, 24 to 48 hours, you'll get a reply back from us. There's another way to reach out for help, and that is the Contact Us form. This is more of a free form, uh, generic form. Uh, it's asking you, um, before you contact customer service, please check out our help pages, and we're going to go there next, as they contain lots of great information. Still need help? Please fill out our customer service form, and that's a hot link. If you click on that, it's the same thing. Name, email address, uh, phone number is not required, but sometimes it's helpful if we need to give you a call. Um, any photo ID, guest ID, claim IDs, information that you have, the subject, operating system that you're using, um, internet connection type, and then you have the ability to freeform information about your request. And once um, that's completed, um, submit that, and that request comes to us as well. The last piece of information that is um, helpful um, for guests is to click on the help pages. And they're listed here under help. And there's a quite a long list of categories. Um, 
in terms of the category of help. And obviously, I'm not going to go through all of these. But if you were curious about what the privacy policy was for the photos, you could click on that and you could read through um, all of this information. And it's just lots and lots of good information. And quite frankly, a lot of times guests overlook this and write to us, which is fine. We, we love hearing from guests. Um, but oftentimes, the answers to their questions are, are right within these, these help pages themselves. Okay, so that concludes the three-part video tutorial. Uh, hope it was helpful. Uh, if you do need additional information, the best way to reach us is to submit either the Can't Find Photos or the Contact Us, and we'll be sure to get back to you um, as soon as possible. Thanks so much. Have a great day.